Hello everyone, welcome to Elite with Destocast.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Tuesday, June the 14th. The time is around 2, um, 2.20 a.m. GMT. And uh, today we are going to look at the chart of Bitcoin. So as you know, the cryptocurrencies, uh, as well as indices, right? Uh, basically got sold off uh, after the CPI number last Friday and here we are looking at the uh, shorter cycle one hour time frame as well as discuss what are our options here possibilities and so on now you can see we ended with B right here right in the primary degree so that means we are currently within the wave C to the downside and within the wave C it should subdivide into five waves and so far we only got one and two uh, we still have not gotten any kind of wave four rally at all and we can see clearly an extension down uh, looking like an impulse with very minimal uh, rally or minimal correction so we should at minimum get another push lower in the form of wave five and based on this structure here it looks like we have two swings here so we have an S1, 2, 1, 2 so uh, I don't see any swing yet right any rally yet that is uh, distribution wise that is similar to this so it seems like we can get two more lows uh, in the form of with five in black and with five in red right in the minute in the minor degree before we finish uh, before we finish uh, with uh, C right before we finish with C so <clears throat> shorter cycle simply that Bitcoin uh, don't pick the lows uh, doesn't look completed in a five ways down and as a result any rally should continue to fail 3711 swing and continue to see for the downside okay now let's check out what we have in the higher degree to give an idea to have an idea where we are so let's see this is Bitcoin daily time frame so we topped out here 69,000 back in 2021 okay let me go to the weekly time frame candlestick now first of all notice here that during this really uh, major correction in Bitcoin uh, you can see just take a look at the high and the lows here in some of the major correction now you will see that it is not uncommon for Bitcoin when it does the major correction it can you know it can correct 70 to 90 percent from the all from the high to the low right so that is not really uncommon so uh, if you just simply repeat what we had in the past 70 to 90 percent and you apply it here to the all-time high of 69,000 right 70 to 90 percent will suggest a uh, that's a 10 percent to 30 percent of 69,000 as a possible you know just repeating what we had in the past right so 10 percent of 69,000 of course is going to be uh, 6900 right so this is going to be 90 percent correction right this is 90 percent correction it's going to be 6900 now if it is 70 percent correction is going to be 30 percent times 69,000 which is going to be 20,700 right so very rough calculation this is a possible a sort of a potential uh, correct correction target just repeating what we had in the past around 70% to 90% correction from the all-time high from the high to the lows okay so from the highs to the lows this is a possible target on the downside now we are getting closer but we still can go lower right I mean we don't know exactly where the exact perfect low is but this is the the range now um if we use the extension analysis we can see from, from here we got this one two uh, and if you just simply use the extension here right so this is our first swing this is our second swing uh, so the hundred percent extension is going to be over here between 12,100 all the way down now the 1.618 is impossible because it's negative you know negative 10,000 so we're, gonna, we're not going to go there so I'm just going to use the 100% let's say to 123.6 as a potential target over there 
right? So that will be uh, that will be between three thousand seven hundred to twelve thousand. So I think this range, which is measured like this, ego leg, is kind of also within this range, right? Like I said, seventy percent to ninety percent from the all-time high, based on the historical past, is going to give you this, and and this level between. 3,000 3, is a little bit lower than 90%, but so but 12,000, which is the 100% extension, is is within this range, right? It's within it's within a possibility, right? Within a possibility here, so that will be a, a potential target on the downside. Now we can also look at it from the internal structure here, which we are calling it as a uh, ABC. B is at the 32,000, right? So this is the 32,000. So if you look at it from this perspective, this is A, this is B. Now you notice the 100% is 9,500, right? 9,500 right here. So again, I'm looking at a potential target here. And at what point do we start to uh, consider Bitcoin forming, uh, you know, like a major low? It's still very far to conclude that. So you've got to break technically speaking you got to break below this above this trend line so until until bitcoin is able to break above this trend line uh, there is almost like pointless for anyone to to try to pick the exact low yeah i mean the low is always going to be a range guys you will never be able to pick the exact low right so um so if you believe in bitcoin uh in the long run uh, you know like uh because Bitcoin, let's face it, guys. Uh, cryptos right now they are selling off tremendously, and if there is any crypto that can survive, right? Because there's too many cryptos out there in the market right now. Uh, a lot of memes, meme cryptos, a lot of uh, you know uh, scam and so on. If there is any crypto that can survive, Bitcoin has to be one of them. If Bitcoin goes bust, goes to zero, then then no other crypto can survive, right? So if you believe in the long run then uh then uh it is basically um soon gonna offer you uh, a possible investment right like you start accumulating slowly uh from this range right you start accumulating slowly now does it mean we reverse immediately and go to new high in a month no i'm not saying that but if you believe in the long term in the cryptos then starting this range you can finally start to uh, invest uh, a little bit of your money because this is a very volatile asset category so I'm not gonna be you know putting 100% of your money uh, taking a loan and then to buy cryptos right no but it is uh, it is going to give you an opportunity to invest um, a portion of your wealth um, to you know a very volatile um, asset that may potentially be um, you know, very bullish potentially, right? Um, if you're willing to hold it for long term, uh, and if you don't use any leverage, because if you use leverage, you're also gonna get killed. But just by a drop a little bit lower than your entry level, you're gonna get killed, and you know, margin call and so on. So, all right. So that's the Bitcoin, right? So shorter cycle is simple. Shorter cycle should continue to see more downside and rally in the near term should fail continue to fail and continue to see more downside potential target on the downside is going to be this range i know it's a big range but it is what it is uh, so this if you want the 100 percent extension range then i would say between 12,000, or you can use this this range here the the uh, the smaller degree range is it could go to 4,000 to 9,500, with 12,000 being the 100 percent extension using the the main connector right here right and only a breaks above this trend line is going to invalidate all this move down uh, until until it breaks above this trend line there is pointless to try to pick the lows and it will continue to go down into that target that i, I was talking about i would say between 4000 to 12000 is really a realistic target based on the extension and based on the history uh, which is a 90% correction sometimes uh, in Bitcoin. All right, so I'll see you all again next time. And um, as always, if you want to get regular updates on cryptos or stocks, ETFs, uh, Forex, commodities, we do have 14 days trial. 
um, click the link in the description of the video all right and uh, you would be able to check our service and get regular updates so I'll see you all again next time have a nice day everyone